So, I'm actually really glad we get this moment to speak to each other. Because, let's be honest, we were not even fated to meet. Considering I am from Hogwarts and you are from Darmstrong. So no, we're not really supposed to meet now. But we did meet. And we did date. For what I consider to be quite a long time. I mean, it is my longest relationship after all. And it is your first relationship. And now, although we we did break up more than one and half a year now, one year and a half, one and a half year, you you keep you keep basically making my life. So, let's just say that this is sort of a second breakup. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to use magic. Because <clears throat> I actually never use magic against you. That would be absolutely crazy. You, on the other hand, do not seem to be bothered when it comes to using, I don't know, like the Imperium spell to force me into not talking to you, to force me to go away. Oh no, you feel quite free to, to use this spell against me, but I, I never did, and I never will. I don't need magic to talk to people, to make myself understood. I guess that's one of the biggest differences between you and me. Now, luckily for us, we have the Tree Wizard Tournament coming up, and tonight is the Yule Ball. So, our school meets, and we have an actual opportunity talk things out. Now, you might say that we don't have anything to talk about, but I don't think that's true. I think we actually have a lot to think about. Starting with, why do you keep leading me on after one And it's pretty crazy because, I mean, you're the one who broke up originally. And you're the one who said that you were not under my Vila charm anymore. Yes, sorry, I do have Vila ancestry in my blood. What can I do? Yes, I know. I know. And I'm great. I know I'm mesmerizing, but still. Anyway, jokes aside, you did say that you were not in love with me anymore and that I was always the bad one in the relationship. Considering I'm a Slytherin, of course I would be the bad one, right? Because Slytherins are always bad. Yes, I know. So easy to, you know, Put the blame on my house. But really, have you asked yourself once what your responsibility in all of this was? In all honesty, I think you are the most selfish and self centered person I have ever dated. And it's funny because. 
I only sort of realized this now and I guess I just wasted my time blindingly loving you you and all your flaws when really you were treating me like an house elf <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 I'm a little house elf to you you even admitted to it that you only considered me like a nice little elf walking around following you and that any of my decisions had absolutely no importance to you because what really matters to you is what you think and what you want and what you decide <laughs> talking about the Yes, I am quite mad tonight. I am quite mad. I am quite mad that after one and a half year, I still have to break up with you. Even though you're the one who dumped me. I have to beg you to let me go. Because I just can't go. See, when you break up with someone, you have to accept that you give up on that person altogether. You can't just keep the little parts that you liked about them. You can't just demand to stay close, demand to know every little thing about them. And I know, I know never really stood a chance because, I mean, I live here and I'm at Hogwarts and you are Damstrang, which is far, far, very far. We both hold different views of our future. I, I want to be, I want to be an Auror, but I also maybe want to teach, I don't know, maybe Defense Against Dark Arts at Hogwarts, I don't know, maybe I want to teach, maybe I want to work for the Ministry of Magic, I don't know, but I, I definitely want my life to be here. Whereas you, you, you want to work as a free agent, as a free um, witch, which I understand, but you want to work in your country, so there was never any real future for us unless one of us was to sacrifice their own their own view what they really want so yes there was there was not really any chance for us but still when you broke up with me you definitely should have let me go and not not leading me on trying to keep me on the side just in case, you know, like who knows, you said that yourself, maybe in 10 years we might get back together if I'm still around. And that's a really crazy thing to say to someone you broke up with, to someone who's still in love with you, that's a very crazy thing to say. Yes, it is. You, you can't just say that to people. Because that makes me keep hope and that makes you you know having this this power over me that you really really shouldn't have because from the moment you decided to break up you should have let me go instead of dragging me around just in case no one more interested comes around but you are so selfish witch and you only care about yourself but I mean I always knew you were selfish but I, I guess I did love you truly and I was ready to overlook this and love you for who you were for all your flaws but see 
when I started understanding that you were actually tre- treating me like like an house elf. I mean, that's not okay. I am a witch just like you. And I deserve your respect. And you can't just, you know, do as you please all the time without taking into consideration what I want because you don't consider me an equal to you and yeah that's really sad actually that we have to have this conversation because if you had broken up properly I mean there would have still been a chance for us to be friends in a distant future for me to keep some sort of well, at least a good memory, a good memory of, of our past relationship. But the thing is, you you screwed up so much. And you hurt me so much for so long after we broke up. That really, right now, I don't want to know you. And you know, to me, our relationship is worth... Maybe... Only one of these. Yeah. Our relationship to me is worth one one galleon. Pretty much. Yeah. No, actually I'm being too generous. Our relationship is is maybe worth worth two of these. Two knots. How nice, right? Yeah. I mean You never considered me at all. And you only realize it three years later. And you know, if I were you, I would actually feel really, really, really bad knowing that I put another person in that state, knowing that I hurt someone else so much just because I wanted to follow my own ideas, just because I wanted to only consider what matters to me I, I would feel pretty bad I would look in the mirror and I would think wow I look like a hippogriff I am a hippogriff well, I mean hippogriffs are gentle creatures but they are ugly and you you are ugly like that inside you are you are now I'm not a seer. I can't see in the future. I don't have, you know, third eye or anything. But there is one thing that I know for sure. It's that you will always be unhappy as long as you treat people you love the way you treat them. The way you treated me. And I you said a lot of things to me that I think are absolutely... <sighs> I can't find my words. Let's just say, when you tell me that you can't connect with anyone, that's really because you can't connect with yourself. Because you won't be honest with yourself. And you won't address the real issues. Like, why are you so Whenever I'm trying to have a serious discussion with you, you get so crazy. You get so mad at me. Sometimes you even call me names. You shut me out. And that is weird because I am the only person you do that to. And I don't even do anything. I mean, yes, sometimes we're in a fight, but most of the the times I'm just actually just asking you simple things about how you feel but you're so afraid of facing what you really feel inside makes you angry makes you trapped feel trapped makes you feel completely frustrated and then you shut me out and you yell at me and I have to be a victim of your bullying even though 
we're not even together anymore and we don't even see each other we haven't seen each other in uh, so long but you still manage to bully me again and again and again and again so tonight without the help of magic because I don't need magic I'm going to say stop to your abuse because as much as I love you and I do love you I I want to be selfish for once and I want the best for me and truly the best for me is to be as far as I can from you because the best for me is to stay away because you are so toxic you're so toxic so toxic and <laughs> there's no talking to you you're so entitled so self-centered so delusional you don't even see yourself for who you are <laughs> you are absolutely and you hurt me so much and I want this abuse to stop so I feel a little bit stupid that it took me so long to see you who you are and obviously I can't just make myself unlove you because because of course I do love the person that you are but I and if there's something that I know for certain is that I do not want to see you ever again. I do not want to talk to you ever again. I don't I just don't want to know you. I don't think you are deserving of my friendship or of my respect. I don't think you deserve a friend like me. And you never deserved a girlfriend like me just don't deserve me in your life and I mean it's sad right because it's it's Christmas and it's the Yule Ball and everyone is here all the fourth years are here with their dates and the compelled and conjured fairies are floating about on the rose bushes and the great hall seems like a magical cave. It's like Santa Claus threw up in here. It's so Christmassy. But I still feel like I have to tell you that. I'm sorry if I ruin your holiday fun, but I really do not want to have anything to do with you again. And now, I finally see you for who you are and I'm really sad no I'm not sad I'm, I'm really sorry for your current girlfriend or whatever because you said she wasn't your girlfriend but you guys were dating I mean you obviously don't have much respect for her either I actually feel sorry for her because now she has to deal she has to deal with a guy who kept mes messaging his ex for so long. It's actually pathetic. So yeah, I feel sorry for her. And I hope for you that you will actually one day address your actual problems, your anger issues, your intimacy issues, your, your honesty issues. That one day you'll be able to to actually ask yourself the right questions without getting completely mad, without yelling, without freaking out. <laughs> I hope that one day you'll actually see things for what they are and you'll actually know how you feel. So Because you know, it's catchy. But 
but really it's it's a goodbye it's a let's never talk to each other again because I finally found the wrong in you and I'm not gonna take any more of your abuse and it is a bit frustrating because I do want you to actually see how bad you are but <laughs> there's nothing I can do really because you probably don't and you probably never will but at least now it's someone else's issue not mine I can't really wish you the best because I would need to forgive you which I will in time I, I always forgive people but right now it's still too fresh um, I mean yeah it's still too fresh but what I can do and this is the last thing I'll say to you I, I guess I wish you a very, very, very merry 